Nick here, Nightlife Kennel. I got three amigos. Tonight is the last night of North Carolina coon hunting season. I got Matt, <laughs> Willie here. <laughs> the original three amigos of Nightlife Kennel, guys. So we got the hide Nicks. Like I said, it's the last night of North Carolina season. The last night we can kill. Will's been gracious enough to let us come back over to his house. We haven't hunted here in a long, long, long time. So we're going to cut both of them in the woods. And it's freezing to death out here. Maybe we'll get on track real quick. And get killed and get back in warm trucks. You guys ready? You know yeah. what the code name is tonight? What's code? Hard hat. Oh! <laughs> Got Nick struck in, guys. Oh, wow. Uh, Nick's is red dog, 229. Hyde is orange dog. Haven't heard Hyde struck in yet. Kind of hard to hear above them barking spiders, anyway. This is a stick. <laughs> Looks like a uh, poplar. Uh oh. Y'all look here. I told you you get this magical stick, you wave it around, they go to tree, and I'm telling you, <laughs> it's all about in the sticks, it's the hey, atmospheric pressure. You're a uh, coon witcher, like a well witcher, water witcher. Pow! Ooh, I got him at 288. Though we locked in, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. <laughs> you better go ahead and give a like and subscribe. If you got any questions, hit the comments. That's right. All right, guys. Well, we can't hear them, but looks like they're trees. Got them treed right here on the dog tree unit. We also got hide over a tree on the sport dog. And uh, see here, both of them about 689 yards. We think we can drive around one of these roads, at least cut that distance in half. So we're going to get around there. We listen to them and maybe we got a coon. All right, guys. Had to pull around this lady's house. Wheels going up there to ask permission to see if we can go in and get hide and nick. Because they're we was able to cut the distance in half drive around here. But there ain't nowhere in here except right by these people's house. Okay, guys. Wheels coming back. Let's see what happens. What did say, buddy? So that was the landowner. He said we'll go ahead and go in there and get them. Cool. Good to go. Awesome, man. We'll pull up here gate and do it. Good news. All right, guys. We got the permission. How far are we, Matt? Uh, 469. Was able to cut our walk in half. Nick's and Hyde both in there. Barely can hear them still, but uh, we're going to get in there and see if we can't harvest out a coon for you guys. The last night in North Carolina. I see you. Guys, not sure how. But I beat the buck, young bucks to the tree. I believe they zigged when they should have zagged. But I got bad news, guys. All we all see, that's a broke off den. Nick's was over here, man, tree on it. Man, that stinks. That was a good hard track, and Nick struck it and led the way. That's the worst part. So proud of her. What took you boys so long? <laughs> I said stay on top of the ridge. That's pretty bad when you let an old fat crippled man beat you to the tree. I ain't seeing it. A big old hole on the top of it. That's all I see. We're going to work on it here in a minute, guys. Uh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Talk to him. 
good, it's good girl. He's in there, Annie. Yes, ma'am. He's in there. Good boy, son. Good boy. Good girl. Well, guys, I'm gonna get back here and show you the top of this thing. You guys can see right there. Broke off. A big old hole right there. Really? We'll see if we can't beat on a tree. Maybe get it crawl out here in a second. Well, guys, we got a highest tree right there. Nix keeps coming jumping up on this old rotten popper. It's busted all pieces. It's got holes in it. So, I don't know. I've been doing more than one coon. Uh, she'll just touch it and then she'll quit. So. Dang gun. Well, I'm going to go back over here. We're going to take a stick and see if we can't thump on this other tree. Last night of the season, we're going to pull out all the stops as long as it's legal. Try to get this coon to come out of this tree. Be back with All right, you. guys. Matt's got a big stick. He's going to try hitting on it. Let Matt try to swing on it first. We'll see if we can't get it to come out the top. Go ahead, buddy. Is he up in that top section? Yeah. Oh, so the hole ain't at the bottom. Oh, man. <laughs> so they just found this side uh, tree. Uh, who's eating it? I'm, I'm videoing. I don't no, know. that don't eat it. No, I don't take a bite. Look, we got the cook bag up in there. We got a cook. I'll bite it. We got where? All right, guys. Let me show you what's happened here on this. Here's the thing that hatches out. Sure enough. Look how big that thing is. It's one of them big old dung beetles, ain't it? Yeah. There's another up in there. All right, so William has worked and split this tree off. Caveman thing the is, there wasn't a hole at the bottom. The hole is up on the top side. So there ain't no way for us to get nothing to come out of this thing. <laughs> All right, so the problem is, the section that actually had the hole in it is right up there. The section they broke off wasn't actually a hollow, it just broke off in a big old half of the tree. So the coon's still up there in that top section. There's really nothing we can do about it. Well, boys, I think the coon won this one. I'm going to talk these boys from breaking their neck. Head on to the truck here in a minute. Well, guys, that's the end of our 2019-2020 coon season here in North Carolina. Got to spend it with my two good friends, Matt and Will, here. Unfortunately, the coon won. I will say I was real proud of Nick. She struck that track and run it in there in front of Hyde. She sounded really good, so I'm real proud of my little pup dog. Of course, these two knuckleheads decided they wanted to try to get that tree open and get that coon out of it. But the old coon had some different plans for you, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not life zero coon one. So I have to learn, you know, next time maybe leave a coon alone. No. Mm. We'll never, still get it. They all gonna die. They never learn. Well guys, we appreciate you. We love you. Be sure to hit like on this uh video here, share with your friends, follow us on Facebook, Instagram. I'm gonna keep rambling on because we'll sit here freezing to death. I'm gonna keep this video going. I'm freaking shivering here. <laughs> we love you. We appreciate you. Trade one for us. Peace. <laughs>